Welcome to this video from the Open to Hope Foundation. I'm honored today to interview Patricia Thomas from Australia and she is with the Catholic Cemeteries and Crematoria. Starting from ground zero, um, Catholic Cemeteries and Crematoria under the Archdiocese of Sydney have just uh, established um, the position I'm in which is bereavement consultant and uh, uh, funding it and uh, resourcing it uh, very generously. Uh, so I'm here to look what's on offer and then to go back and hopefully um, begin with others uh, the work for bereaved families, yeah. Uh -huh. And have you worked with bereaved families before? I have. Um, uh, years and years ago when I was um, uh, 18 I was working at a hospice um, uh, one of the first hospices in Sydney, Calvary Hospital, and um, I was immersed in uh, how to really care for the dying and bereaved there by a, a group of nuns called the Little Company of Mary, whose uh, their primary uh, uh, ministry that was that no one would die alone and uh, no one would bereave, be bereaved or grieve alone and have support. Yeah. And how about your own experience with grief and loss? Yeah, well, that's that's why I'm here too. Um, I had a, a brother who. Uh, when he was nine years old, um, uh, fell off a horse and uh, uh, was uh, diagnosed as being uh, brain dead. And um, uh, that was in the, uh, the, the early, late 70s and um, uh, was, was requested or asked if he could, would be a donor. And uh, my parents said yes to that. Uh, in that those preliminary hours and days there was very little support for them in their decision and them being with them and also as a family um, uh, you know things are done differently now thank God yeah yeah and just um, recently seven years ago my brother and sister-in-law were killed in a car accident oh. and left um, uh, five children yeah oh my goodness. yeah and I was the primary parent involved in uh, their aftercare yeah oh, wow. yeah yeah so you've really seen what kind of support people need. What what do you think people need after a loss? Uh, those I think um, more than anything else, they need someone uh, to find them and to ask what happened. Um, and I actually had that. I was very very blessed that I had that experience with my younger brother uh, when he died, and and no one else in my family did. Um, when I be went back to Teachers College after the death of my younger brother Simon, I was pulled out of class and it was by another nun again who was a, a pastoral care a person at the college and she pulled me out and took me a coffee and just tell me, said, asked me, so what's been going on in your life? And an hour and a half later, I had someone who'd listened to my story and said, I'm here if you want to come and talk more. Um, so I think more than anything else, it's a, a ministry of presence and, um, uh, and, and someone who's prepared to, to, sh to care enough to listen to what's happened. Yeah. 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 I love that idea, ministry of presence. Yeah. It's so wonderful. Now, do you have a website or anything that people can visit? Yeah, um, uh, it's um, www.catholiccemeteries.com.au. Um, uh, uh, thank you very much and thank you for everyone. Thanks for watching this video. I'm Dr. Gloria Horsley with the Open to Hope Foundation, and we want to remind you, if you've lost hope, please lean on ours until you find your own, and God bless.